Hey, it's Stuart. I've received a question about regular investing and how often should you, you know, invest money over the course of a year? So how regularly should that be? Because of course, if you're going to do it really regularly, you're going to pay more fees, so more brokerage fees. And specifically, the listener has asked uh, if I'm going to invest across four different ETFs and I'm uh, making super contributions uh, every month, you know, should I put one quarter into each of those ETFs every month, uh, therefore have 48 trades uh, per year? The, the whole idea around dollar cost averaging is that you sort of spread money in over into a market over time. Uh, I've done the research and numbers and looked at what happens if you invest on the best day of the month, so the cheapest day of the month, the worst day of the month, the most expensive one, of course, uh, or just some random date like the middle of the month. Um, and in the short term, it can have a little bit of impact on returns, say, you know, 12 months or less. But the longer the time horizon you look at, the less timing will have an impact. So if you're investing your super monies and you're, say, 40 today, uh, 40 years old, uh, and you can't access super till you're 60, so in reality, uh, investing those monies uh, every three, four, every six months even, um, isn't going to have much of an impact to your overall return. It's really what you're investing in and then how long you hold those investments for uh, and how well they perform, of course, that's going to have the biggest impact. Uh, so that's the reality of the situation over a very long period of time. Uh, in your situation, what you were suggesting is what I would probably do is that if I wanted to invest my super contributions over the course of the year across four different ETFs, what I would do is probably invest monthly, but I would invest each month's contribution into one of those ETFs. So on month one, you buy ETF one, on month two, you buy ETF two, on month three, you buy ETF three, and so on and so forth. That way you're investing in each of those ETFs at three times a year. But over the course of a year, you're diversifying across uh, those funds, but only completing 12 trades. Uh, and that should help minimize your costs, but also give you, give you some level of uh, timing diversification. So sort of spreading those monies across uh, three trades in any one ETF um, and, and still give you that sort of longer term diversification. So to my mind, I think that's probably the the, the best balance between uh, the, the, spreading those, those monies across those four ETFs on a semi-regular basis, uh, acknowledging that the evidence, which uh, I always like to encourage investors to take an evidence-based approach, the evidence tells us that in the long run, and super is a very long-term investment, it makes no difference. Even if you invested just every six months in 20 years from now, it's not going to have any impact or any material impact on your investment returns. Great question. Uh, so thanks for it. And I hope that helps. Cheers.